The highly anticipated Sony FX32 has officially entered the spotlight thanks to a series of certification documents and industry leaks that have taken the filmmaking world by storm. If you thought Sony's first FX3 was impressive, the FX32 appears to be raising the bar across the board. With new features like 6K RAW recording potential global shutter technology and an expected July 2025 release, this camera could become the ultimate tool for independent filmmakers, content creators and professionals alike. Let's dive deep into the latest round of leaks and uncover what we know about this upcoming cinema powerhouse and why the Sony FX32 might just be worth the wait. One of the key criticisms of the original FX3 centered around practical usability during demanding shoots, especially in unpredictable outdoor environments. According to leaks, the Sony FX32 is expected to tackle these issues head-on with enhanced build quality, better ergonomics, and a weather-sealed exterior design to endure rough shooting conditions. While Sony plans to preserve the compact, box-style body that made the FX3 a favorite among run and gun filmmakers, several small but impactful refinements are rumored. Improved grip textures, better button placement, and a more intuitive control layout are all in the works. These upgrades aim to make handheld operation more comfortable and efficient, especially during long takes or mobile shooting situations. Perhaps the most exciting design evolution is the rumored fanless cooling system. This could be a game changer. Noise from internal fans has long been a concern for filmmakers recording dialogue or ambient sounds in quiet locations. A silent, thermally efficient cooling system would drastically reduce background noise while maintaining reliable temperature control, even during extended 6K shoots. At the heart of any cinema camera lies its sensor, and this is where the Sony FX32 is reportedly making its boldest move. Multiple sources suggest the FX32 will be equipped with a 24-megapixel full-frame sensor, a significant jump from the 12MP sensor found in the original FX3. But this isn't just about resolution. This new sensor is expected to unlock native 6K RAW recording, giving filmmakers more flexibility in post-production, better detail retention, and a broader canvas for cropping, stabilization, and reframing. The oversampling from 6K down to 4K should deliver incredibly sharp footage with reduced noise and more accurate color reproduction. Even more groundbreaking is the strong possibility that Sony will integrate global shutter technology, similar to what we've seen in the Sony A9 III. If true, this would eliminate the rolling shutter artifacts that plague traditional CMOS sensors during fast panning or quick motion scenes. For action filmmakers, sports shooters, and handheld documentary work, this would represent a dramatic leap in image integrity and realism. And yes, 4K at 120 frames per second is expected to return with full frame readout and high bitrates. That means buttery smooth slow motion footage with minimal compression artifacts, ideal for everything from cinematic B-roll to adrenaline-fueled sports reels. Despite the leap in resolution, Sony is reportedly taking great care to preserve the FX3's legendary low-light capability. Thanks to improvements in sensor design and larger photodiodes, the Sony FX32 should maintain or even surpass its predecessor's performance in dim conditions. This would make it an ideal camera for wedding videographers, documentary filmmakers, and indie creators who often find themselves shooting in less than ideal lighting scenarios. Expect low noise, smooth gradients, and rich dynamic range, even when pushing ISO limits. Sony's color science, already praised in the original FX3, is likely to be refined as well. More accurate skin tones, smoother highlight roll-off, and better HDR profiles could help filmmakers achieve a more cinematic look straight out of the camera. Filmmakers are also buzzing about another rumored feature, open gate recording in the 3 2 aspect ratio. This format allows the entire sensor area to be used during capture, giving editors and colorists significantly more flexibility in post. Whether you need vertical video for social media or want to reframe for multiple aspect ratios like 2.35, 1 or 16, 9, open gate unlocks a whole new level of control. Sony is also expected to include its latest generation of AI-assisted autofocus, which has already impressed in recent Alpha and Cinema line cameras. This system offers real-time subject tracking, eye detection, 
and predictive focus control that adjusts automatically based on the subject's behavior, even in fast-moving or complex scenes. For solo shooters, gimbal operators, or documentary teams, this level of intelligent focusing could save critical time and ensure sharp results with minimal manual intervention. Connectivity is becoming increasingly important in modern productions, and Sony appears to be taking it seriously. The FX32 is rumored to feature with E6E, offering blazing fast wireless transfer speeds via the 5.1 GHz frequency band with 80 MHz bandwidth and 256 QAM modulation. In real terms, this means faster wireless tethering, quicker preview loading, and smoother remote monitoring on set. Another standout feature is the possibility of internal 12-bit RAW recording. This would allow filmmakers to capture cinematic-grade footage without relying on bulky external recorders like Atomo's devices. Internal RAW means fewer cables, faster setups, and more streamlined workflows, especially beneficial for solo or small crew operations. According to several credible industry sources, Sony is targeting a July 2025 release window for the FX32. This aligns with typical Sony release cycles and the current pattern of camera registration activity in global certification databases. As for pricing, the Sony FX32 is expected to retail somewhere between $3,800 and $4,200. While this marks a moderate increase from the original FX3's $3,899 launch price, the rumored upgrades, 6K recording, global shutter, AI autofocus, and internal RAW could easily justify the bump, especially when compared to much more expensive cinema systems. Sony seems intent on keeping the FX32 accessible to a broad range of creators, from independent filmmakers and event videographers to content studios and production companies looking for cinema quality output without breaking the bank. With all these rumored upgrades, it's fair to ask, is it worth holding off for the Sony FX32, or should you go ahead and purchase the current FX3? The answer depends on your needs and timeline. The FX3 remains a fantastic camera, trusted in professional environments across the globe. Its compact design, full-frame sensor, and industry-standard video capabilities make it a go-to choice for hybrid shooters and filmmakers alike. However, if your projects demand 6K resolution, global shutter performance, advanced internal recording, or the latest AI autofocus tech, then the Sony FX32 might be well worth the wait. The improvements could significantly enhance production quality and simplify post-production workflows. In summary, the Sony FX32 looks poised to become one of the most powerful and versatile cinema cameras in its class. With a compact form factor that doesn't compromise on professional-grade features, it's shaping up to be a dream tool for modern filmmakers. From 6K RAW capture and global shutter technology to open gate recording and wireless innovation, Sony is clearly listening to the needs of creatives and raising the bar for what a sub-$5,000 camera can achieve. Whether you're a one-person crew, an indie director, or a production studio looking for a flexible, powerful, and reliable cinema system, the Sony FX32 might just be the camera that changes your workflow in 2025. Stay tuned for more updates as we approach the official launch and let us know in the comments which rumored feature excites you the most.